Now what we really want to build is the has root function. Has root takes two places, like Bloomington and Los Angeles, and a map and tells us if we can get there from here or not. Let's think about some examples for this function. If we just want to go from Bloomington to Indianapolis with the map that we saw before, that's definitely going to be true. There's a direct route. Based on that example, we can start thinking about writing our function. Here's the template for has root. We're going to look at first of m or the rest of and the rest of m. We're going to make our recursive call. We're going to access the start and the end of the highway. And we can even fill this out. We're going to check if both the start and the end are the same as p1 and p2. Otherwise, we're done. Uh, and we're going to use OR and AND to combine things. If we run out of highways in our map, we're done. And we can't get there from here. We can even rewrite this solution to avoid using recursion directly and instead use OR map. OR map allows us to write this function much more simply and just checks if we can find any element of the list M that is the right pair of cities. This implementation looks very nice until we think about this example. There should be a route from Bloomington to Los Angeles. But unfortunately, our function that we just saw won't get us there. That's because there's no direct segment from Bloomington to Los Angeles. We have to think about all the connections in between the different cities. No straightforward function that follows the template for has root is going to work. We're going to need to look for roots that go from place to place to place. And that's going to require generative recursion. Let's start thinking about what we actually want to do. Here's the route we want from Bloomington to LA. We go from Bloomington to St. Louis to Oklahoma City to Amarillo to Los Angeles. How are we going to find that route? Well, we're going to start in Bloomington and we're going to look at all of our neighbors, all of the places we can get to in just one step. That's St. Louis and Indianapolis. Then let's think about St. Louis. From St. Louis, we can get to two places. We can get to Oklahoma City or we can get to Chicago. Let's think about Oklahoma City. From there, we can get just to Amarillo. Then we can get from Amarillo to Los Angeles. Now we're in Los Angeles, the place we wanted to be in the first place, and we've finished and solved our problem. Let's think about a data structure that describes this. That's going to be called a way tree. A way tree is either done if we're already where we want to go, as in we're already in Los Angeles, or it's a stop with a list of places we could go next. We're going to represent that with either done or stop as structures, and each stop has the place we are and a list of the places we could go, or rather, a list of the way trees we could follow from that place. Here are two examples representing trips that we could take, assuming that we had only very simple one-child trees. We start in Bloomington, and we get to St. Louis, and we're done. Or we start in Bloomington, we stop in St. Louis, and we get to Oklahoma City. This is what you'd get if the map contained just the road from Bloomington to St. Louis, and then the road from St. Louis to Oklahoma City. Of course, the real map that we've seen is more complicated than this, and so we might generate way trees that are larger and more complex than these two. But it's of course important to start with the simple cases and make sure we understand how they work before we continue on.